In this video presentation, we're going to cover how to output to PADS layout. You have to have a running version of PADS. So let me see here. Okay, PADS is running. Um, we're going to jump from library expert right into PADS. You open up the library editor and we're going to open up on your computer uh, in the libraries folder. There's a SM FPX file, which is a case code library. It doesn't have any manufacturer part numbers or logical information. This is strictly physical information, the SM. It has 3,125 parts. And what you can do when you output data is if you if you open up a part, okay, you can uh, select the wrench, okay, and then to output to pads. I'm going to go to pads. This is for one part at a time. Pads layout. You have to set as your default CAD tool format. You're going to output a decal and a part type. You select your pads version. What pads version are you using? Pads VX. Uh, I'm just going to open up a pads 9.3. Um, auto import into pads. The name of my library. Make sure that your library name is you know whatever because it's going to jump right from our tool right into your PADS library. Uh, map alphanumeric pins. Um, that means that uh, you're going to put the alphanumeric pins for BGAs and in uh, other parts that have alphabetical pin names instead of 1, 2, 3, uh, like A1, B1, or C, or whatever you name them. They're going to be put in the part type. If you unclick this box, it's going to be put in the decal. So part type, decal, uncheck, check. Um, polarity dot as an attribute. So if you want, we you can make the polarity dot an attribute. And that way, when you put it into a design, you can float around. You can you know move it, move it out of the way. Set up your layer assignments. We do, we do support extended layers, OK? Extended layers on gives you all of the extended layers. Extended layers off gives you all the other default layers from pads. Um, one of the most important things is if you have pads VX, you're going to want to check off a 3D model and then set up your 3D modeling tools. Um, it's interesting to note that uh, the lead extension, uh, two millimeters. So for all through hole parts, we're going to stop the through hole lead at the very top of the printed circuit board. And then you, the user, you determine what's the board thickness and how far do I want the through hole lead in my 3D model to go through the back of the board. And so the default is two millimeters, but you could set it up to any value that you want. Okay. But if you put, set it up to zero, all the leads will stop at the top of the board. Use step. If you check it off, it'll create a .stp. If you check it on, it'll create a file called .step. Include suffix and file names. If you want to include the nominal, the density level, least, nominal, most. We have the material condition, least, nominal, maximum um, for the 3D models. And the vertical axis is Y. This is the would be the right plane in 3D modeling tool like SolidWorks. Uh, the Z axis would be the uh, top plane. So uh, a lot of CAD tools. Uh, like the vertical axis to be on the on the Y, but you know you, it's up to you to pick. Anyway, I'm not I don't have 3D modeling in pads 9.3, so I'm going to turn it off. Okay, um, so I'm going to say uh, save entries as preferences, and I could save all my changes that I made. So any buttons that I clicked and anything that I changed in here, layer assignments and stuff, save entries as preferences, and that way it'll save all of my settings so the next time I come back here it'll be just set up just like this. So I can take an FPX file here we can sort it by footprint name and um, we can create one part I can select a part and then if I select one part and open up one part with these component dimensions and click this uh, add footprint to CAD library, it's going to create this one part. However, I went into preferences 
and I set up all my preferences. I set up my drafting preferences for my legend to be the, the line width that I want and the clearance that I want and the designator height that I want and the percentage. And I set up my assembly outline and all my polarity markings and my courtyard line widths and whether I want one or not and the origin markings and the component. I want the component leads to come out in my CAD tool. Um, I set up uh, all of my, you know, component rotations where I want pin A1 in the ball grid array, do I, where do I want the origin, where do I want to start adding fiducials. So you set up all your different preferences and then you can build out your library. Now we're going to go ahead and batch build 3,125 parts into pads. And so I can uh, open up the whole entire FPX file and I can click and drag through the gray boxes the parts that I want to build or I can click and then shift click uh, in between clicks and it'll highlight all the parts. Or I can select the uppermost gray box to highlight the, the entire FPX file of all 3,125 parts. And I would select this icon here. It's add selected parts to CAD library. And I have an opportunity here to change the density level from nominal to most or least. I can change the, the output, uh, the footprint name suffix, or include suffix in the footprint name. I could turn it on or off. You have many options in this build preferences menu here. I'm going to select the OK button. It's going to go right into my pads interface where I left it off, where I, where I, where I said, you know, save preferences. And I'm going to batch build 3,125 parts using my preferences that I selected. Create and close. And it'll go right into this library, PCB underscore libraries. And the progress bar is going to tell us when it's done. OK, it's done. So then I go into pads and I open up the file library. And there they are. There's all the parts. It, that's how fast it went in. 3,100 parts using my preferences. Bam, one minute, maybe less than a minute. Um, let me see here. We have all kinds of parts here, and all of our rules are in these parts. So I was able to build 3,000 parts with a couple clicks, and then the decals also. So you have the part types and the decals. And that's it for how to interface library expert to pads layout.